Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. It is actually like 5 p.m. right now. I've been editing all day long. I have had like such a brain rotting computer day. I'm like still decompressing, but we're actually heading out here in a second to go to Hollywood Horror Nights. I'm so excited. We haven't been since 2019 when we lived here the first time and we're going with our friends, Josh and Noel. They have a YouTube channel by the way, so I'll link it down below. They're probably gonna document some of it tonight I would imagine. Anyways they asked us if before we go to Horror Nights if we wanted to go to this like kind of spooky themed coffee shop. I don't think I've ever been to a coffee shop after like noon <laughs> or like 2 p.m. maybe. So we're gonna see what that's all about but we're gonna get like a cute spooky coffee then maybe grab a drink and then go to Horror Nights and um I'm not very good with like haunted house things. <laughs> I actually ended up bringing a pair of earplugs with me because people screaming in my ear like genuinely upsets me. I don't know if this is like a neurodivergence thing, but like like extremely loud noise like really affects me more than most people. So I brought earplugs this time because it just scares the shit out of me too. Like when someone just comes right up and like screams in my ear, it like genuinely makes me feel violent. So I brought earplugs in my little bag. I'm gonna switch to my phone and we'll just try to document as much of the night as we can, but obviously we're just gonna like live our lives and enjoy. But I thought I would show you my slightly Halloween inspired outfit, I guess you could say. Here we have it. This is a thrifted t-shirt dress. I don't I don't remember the brand. I want to say it's from like Walmart, but I got this when I went thrifting with Alexa on her birthday trip when we went to Laguna back in August and like how cute. And then I decided to just go with my high top platform Converse because they're the comfiest. I do have bike shorts underneath because this isn't like super duper long. Got my glasses on so I can make sure to see all the scary things. <laughs> That's the OOTN. Oh, I have my cute little, hold on. I have my cute little crossbody. I got this, I think on ThreadUp a while ago. Um. It's green, so it's not very Halloween-ish, but I don't know, I just thought it would be cute. So I am ready to go, ready to be scared out of my mind. Please pray for me because I am genuinely frightened. Okay, let's do this. Are you gonna be so good? See, I just went out and I ate, so I'm good. We'll see you in a bit, okay? I also realized that I never showed this in the last vlog, but we moved a different rug in here. This is actually the same rug that we have in our bedroom, but we got a bigger size. Unfortunately, the rug that we had, that really cute checkered one, it had to go. It was absolutely repulsive and disgusting and like trapped so much like dust and dog hair and it stained really badly. So we ended up putting it outside of our apartment, like on the street and someone took it but, like within 20 minutes. So someone can like clean it and reuse it. But anyways, okay, let's hit the road.
next morning, ordered some groceries, doing a little mini grocery haul. This is like kind of random stuff that we had some stuff to make dinners, but we needed like a couple things and just like random other things. So got some yogurt. This Too Good brand, I like a lot and it has good protein. We got some bitchin' sauce. This is the spinach artichoke flavor. I haven't tried this one yet, but it looks really good. We got some bounce breaks. These are like one of my favorite little like grab and go snacks. This is the almond white cheddar and dried cranberries one. We got some Irish cheddar to have like for snacks before we eat. Basically like you have like a little cucumber, little nuts, little radishes, cheese, you know, like things to pick on when you're like getting ready to eat. I need to start putting this stuff away. Got some oat milk. They were out of the, we get the, what is it? Califia Farms, like barista blend usually, but we switch it up. Sometimes I, it just depends on what store. So got this today. Start putting some of this stuff away because uh, there's a lot to get through. So this bag is just chicken, by the way, which like feels very wet, so it's freaking me out. Oh, it's leaking, great, okay. We'll worry about that in a minute. We got some of these Morning Star Farms vegan chicken patties and some spring mix. Gonna put those away. We've got some watermelon spears. I don't know what it is about the spears, but they are so freaking good. And I could literally eat like this entire thing in one sitting. We also got some strawberries, some zucchini and summer squash for like a fun kind of like pesto sausage pasta dinner thingy. We might actually end up making that for dinner tonight. So if we do, I'll show it. But um, also got some drinking water. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the water here tastes like shit. Like, I don't know what it is, if it's like the old pipes in this house or whatever. So unfortunately I get these. I got one Honeycrisp apple. I don't know why I just got one. I feel like if I get, end up getting more than that, I don't like ever use it. We got some bubbly sparkling water. This is Drew's flavor, the cherry. And then I got the watermelon LaCroix. We'll put these in the fridge. Got some cream cheese, got three things of ramen. We basically just used the noodles and like saved the seasoning packets for other things. We put the noodles in like, you know, random noodle dishes. These are the best noodles. Got some Z bars. These are actually for kids, but oh man, they're so good. I've been eating these for years. Got some cashews, got some plain bagels, got some potato bread, you know, the essentials, and of course, pistachios. That's my grocery haul. Anyways, I need to go clean up whatever that chicken juice was. It's really freaking me out. It is actually now many, many hours later. It is like 4 p.m. and we are gonna make dinner because we're hungry and it's very early and we're like 90 years old. And so we're gonna make a pasta that I was talking about earlier. Excuse me, Moo. I'm coming in to get my water bottle. But um, I think I saw, I wanna say I was watching um, a Michelle and Aline vlog. They're my favorites. They've been my YouTube friends forever. Um, and she made something with like a gnocchi from Trader Joe's and like pesto and chicken meatballs. Um, but we're just using other ingredients that we have. So we're just gonna use like rigatoni, zucchini and summer squash. Um, and then we don't have any chicken meatballs, but we do have some field roast vegan sausage that we haven't used, the Italian style one. And then we're gonna do some pesto sauce or maybe like a pesto cream sauce. And that's gonna be our dinner. But I wanna make like a cute little snack plate cause we actually went to dinner at my friend Kara's house the other night and she cooked us dinner and we went over and hung out with her and her fiance and their two cats and it was so much fun. Um, but while we were getting ready to like eat dinner, she made us this little snack plate, which I showed in the grocery haul and it was like radishes, cucumbers, cheese, and cashews. And it was just like the perfect, like the perfect snack plate. It had everything you want. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of that. So. Let's assemble. So we started the water. I'm actually gonna salt it. Fun fact, I never ever salted my pasta water until I started dating Drew. <laughs> and apparently you're supposed to heavily salt your pasta water. It's supposed to be like ocean water, yeah. And I never did that, so now I do, or else he'll throw a whole fit. <laughs> He's looking at me going. I don't know if I've actually used this in a while. How cute are we? I'm being extremely careful, don't worry. Does anyone else love to have a snack while they're making their dinner? Cause I do, I sure do. And look at that, our cute little snack plate before we eat dinner. So we have some Irish cheddar that I showed earlier, Persian cucumber, cashews, and radishes. Delicious, it's like a choose your own adventure.
delish. We got the pasta boiling. We have the veggies in the air fryer. We're gonna brown up this vegan sausage. And then that's pretty much it. Add the sauce and you're done. How did I do? Beautiful. Thank you. I think my favorite combo is cucumber, cashew, and cheese. You can definitely just cook it in the pan, but last time we did that, the veggies turned out really soggy, so we just air fried them a little. In case you're wondering too, the pesto that we're using is the vegan kale and cashew basil pesto. Oh, this whole meal's vegan. We're gonna add Parmesan cheese. I mean, yeah, we are gonna add Parmesan cheese, but you could easily make this vegan. We're also gonna add a little red pepper because everything's better spicy. Mm -mm -mm. This literally took like 10 minutes. Seriously, so easy. There we go. It looks so delicious. We would probably usually make a salad with it, but we just had like a snack plate. So we're gonna take this and watch some TV, which by the way, we are watching so many good shows right now. I feel like right now is like a really good time for television for some reason. Um, and yes, we are a couple who watches TV while we eat dinner. I don't know, some people think that's weird. But we are watching currently so many shows. I mean, House of the Dragon, obviously, which definitely like scratches that Game of Thrones itch that's been missing for the last few years. We're also watching a show on Netflix called The Midnight Club. We just saw it like recommended as like a spooky kind of show and it's actually good. It's, I mean, it's a little corny in parts, but we're enjoying it so far. It's a little spooky. It's the same people who do like Haunting of Hill House, Bly Manor, Midnight Mass, and now they have The Midnight Club. So we're gonna catch up on, I think the last two episodes of that. And then we also have been watching Interview with a Vampire on, it's on Amazon Prime, but what's the actual network it's on? AMC, I think. It's really good. I've never seen the original one from like, I guess the 80s or the 90s, um, but it's good. It's gay. We love it. And for me, it's like sort of scratching that like true blood itch that I feel like has been missing. And then of course, still watching the Bake Off. We're not gonna talk about the Mexican week. That was <laughs> horrendous, tragic, like absolutely awful, but we're still watching that. So yeah, lots of good TV to watch right now if you're on the hunt. Oh, we also watched a show on Netflix called The Watcher. It was really good and really promising. It's a Ryan Murphy show and we really enjoyed the beginning of it. And it's based on a true story about like someone who moves, like a family who moves into a house and starts getting these like kind of threatening letters about it. And there's all this sort of like creepy extra stuff with like neighbors and oh my God, it was like so, it hooked us in right away. We watched the whole thing when my mom was here. There's like six or seven, eight episodes, something like that. But the ending is so disappointing. I almost like don't want to recommend it. Although I don't know, but it was just, it was such a build up for there to be like such a shitty ending. So that's sad. But anyways, okay. We're gonna watch our shows and eat our delicious pasta. Is it good this time? Yeah. Oh, Layla. Our neighbor. That is rude. He's allowed to go into his own apartment. We'll catch up later. Oh, and how could I forget the best of all, Abbott Elementary. We have, I think one new episode to watch. It is so, so cute. I really had a hankering for some tea, so we both have tea. I have the Bigelow decaf black tea. Drew has his Yorkshire tea. Authentic. <laughs> his authentic tea from England. I actually didn't even buy myself tea when I was in England, which is kind of a shame. And we're gonna put cream in it, because apparently we're supposed to do that. And then we also got some biscuits. We got these Ginger Man biscuits, and then we also have the Walker's shortbread biscuits. And I was just really in the mood for this. I was thinking about it all day. I was just sitting there like, I want a cup of tea tonight, like an actual cup of tea, like how I had at the tea room, you know, in the Cotswolds. This won't be exact, but it'll be close enough. All right, everyone, it's the end of the day. It is actually like 15 minutes away from midnight's coming out. My tailor's ripped. I am going to take a quick shower, get myself all cozy in bed, and put on my really good headphones and listen to it. I can't believe these are the final moments of my life before midnights. I have no idea what midnights is or sounds like, and I just can't believe it. So I need to go get in the zone. But thank you so much for being here and for watching this vlog. Of course, I'll give my thoughts on the album, you know, in the next one. I have a really fun day planned for tomorrow and a vlog that, but yeah. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Happy midnights day.